Hello everybody, Conti here with another video. How to create a colourful bubble animation effect in DaVinci Resolve 17.1. Inside your edit window, go to effects library, underneath toolbox, select generators, and go to find four colour gradient. Click and drag one of these generators to the start of your edit timeline. Select your new four color gradient edit. Go to inspector and underneath generator, double click on the color box next to upper left color. I will apply a burgundy shade to this particular corner of the screen using the hexadecimal code hashtag 611138 in the HTML box at the bottom of the select color window. Click OK. Now double click on the color box next to upper right color. And for a dark yellow color shade, I will type in hashtag 917E05. Select lower left color and enter the code hashtag 150979. Select lower right color. And for my final gradient shade, I will use the code hashtag 104109. Return to the Effects Library, underneath Toolbox, select Effects, and go to find Fusion Composition. Click and drag one of these effects to the video track directly above your four color gradient edit on the timeline. Using the Selection Mode tool, which you can also do by pressing A, you can adjust the length of each edit by clicking and dragging from the end. Ensure that both edits are of the same length. In this particular project, I will increase the length of both the Fusion Composition and 4 Color Gradient by 5 seconds, to 10 seconds in total for the duration of the effect. With your Fusion Composition clip selected, go to Inspector, underneath Video, scroll down your options, to Composite. Change Composite Mode from Normal to Overlay. This mode will enable the bubbles to blend into the color gradients that you have already set on your timeline. Right click on your Fusion Composition Edit and go to Open in Fusion page. Inside your Nodes panel in the Fusion window, hold Shift and press Space to open up the Select Tool window. Use the search box at the bottom of this particular window to search for the Ellipse tool. Select this and go to click on Add. With this new Ellipse 1 node selected, go to Inspector and underneath Controls, to create a gentle blur around the edge of your bubbles, increase Soft Edge to 0.01 and to make the edge of the bubble stand out more, increase Border Width to 0.008. To ensure that you only see the edge of the bubble and not the inside, untick Solid. Hold Shift and press Space again. Go to Insert a P Emitter tool. With this new P Emitter tool selected, go to Inspector and underneath Controls, reduce the number of particles that will appear on screen by decreasing number from 10 to 0.35. To ensure that the particles last longer on screen, increase Lifespan to 125. To have the lifespan of the bubbles vary slightly during the animation, increase lifespan variance to 10. To have the bubbles emitting from slightly different locations on the canvas, increase position variance to 0.4. Go to Style. These two tools will make up the clearer bubbles that we will see in the foreground on screen. To enable us to connect the Ellipse tool to the P Emitter tool on our Nodes panel, Change style from point to bitmap. Go to size controls. To make the bubbles on screen slightly bigger, increase size to 0.125. To have the bubbles vary in size as they appear throughout the animation slightly, increase size variance to 0.1. To have the bubbles grow in size as the animation plays, in the graph for size over life, Click on the right-sided node and drag this halfway towards the top. To have the bubbles fade in as the clip plays, select Fade Controls 
and increase in to 0 0.4. Keep out set at 1.0 to apply a pop effect to the bubbles at the end of their lifespan. Select region. To have the bubbles appearing across the whole canvas, change region from sphere to all. Return to your nodes grid. Click on the grey box which appears to the right of ellipse 1 and drag this to the yellow arrow to the left of P emitter 1. Deselect the nodes by clicking anywhere in the empty space on the node section. Hold shift and press space and go to add a P merge tool. This tool will enable us to combine the clearer bubbles which will appear in the foreground and the bigger blurred bubbles which will eventually appear in the background. Connect P emitter 1 to the green arrow which appears on P merge 1. Deselect P merge 1. Hold control and click on the ellipse 1 and P emitter 1 nodes to select both of these. Use command instead of control if you are a Mac user. Hold control and press C to copy. Deselect the ellipse and emitter nodes and hold in control and press V to paste duplicates of these. Connect the duplicate P emitter node to the yellow arrow by P merge 1. Deselect your nodes and select the new ellipse 1 node. To add transparency and a blur to these bigger bubbles in the background, decrease level to 0.5. To add more of a blur to the edge of these bubbles as well, increase soft edge to 0.07. Go to select the duplicate P emitter node. To have the bigger and blurrier bubbles in the background last longer on screen, increase lifespan to 150. To vary the starting position of these bigger bubbles more, I will also increase position variance to 0.5. Go to select P merge 1, hold shift and press space, and go to add P turbulence. With P turbulence 1 selected, go to inspector and underneath controls. To make the bubbles move gently around screen, decrease X, Y and Z strength variables to 0.05. With P turbulence 1 still selected, Hold shift and press space and go to add a P render tool. This particular tool will enable the bubbles to be processed by DaVinci so that they can be included in your final video. With P render 1 selected, hold shift and press space again and go to add soft glow. To intensify the color of your bubble edges over your four color gradient, change gain to 0.75. Connect Soft Glow 1 to Media Out 1 to complete your animation effect. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share, and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.